Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Humankind! We are, well now we're the Marians, we were Egyptians. It's gonna be hard to, uh, to figure out. I was just thinking, um, uh, I was on Twitter when these episodes went live, I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna title this series, I don't know how I'm gonna thumbnail these series. Um, someone said something like, well, title it based on, like, the name of your capital or something. Because the problem is, I can't name it after a civilization, because we're gonna be playing six different ones. Um, even, you know, titling after, like, a, a certain goal, like, oh, it would be militaristic or, or whatever. Well, that doesn't always work out, because sometimes it changes partway through. Um, the, the name of the capital is an interesting idea, and what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go with, like, absolutely, like, arbitrary random names or something like that for our capital, and I'll use that as part of the Let's Play names going forward. So when we set up our first city, you know, I'll call it, uh, Tomato, or Ranch, or, I don't know, or, uh, we'll name it after TV shows, or I, I don't know, we'll, we'll come up with, like, the words we can use, um, for the, uh, the series. That's what we'll name the capital. That'll be in the episode title in the thumbnail, so that you can easily identify what series of video is from right away, which is, which is kind of my goal. Because, you know, like Civ, I just Take a picture of the leader. Well, my leader in every game is going to be this guy, this handsome fella. So that's not going to help either. So uh, still, still going to work on it. I mean, I think this this let's play here. I'm going to keep going with what we've got, just calling it like the first let's play or whatever's in the title. But going forward, there'll be some sort of mechanic like that because the titles and thumbnails are a little hard to work with. Oh, they're about to lose their war. Oh, they're actually at zero. So okay, now here's something I haven't figured out. I don't think there's a way for me to not peace out right now. Which is a little bit annoying. But, I can do this. Now this will give me two cities, which will put me over my limit, but I'm a, I'm willing to accept that. Yeah, we're not adjacent to these. I mean, I can take, hold on. I don't think I can take more cities. Are they, wait, hold on. These can't be cities. This is a city. Uh, what is this territory called? Prairie River. I don't think it's got the name. This is cheaper, so I'm assuming they're just territories rather than cities. The blue ones are the ones I occupy. I don't occupy Sakleteni. So probably Kath is a territory attached to Mohandaro, is what I'm assuming. Sakleteni must be another territory. Now, I could uh, take less and take more money, but I think I want to take as much as possible. So we're going to hit this. Your support is our rock in a storm. Your support's a rock in our storm. That's a shitty thing to say. Yeah, okay, so it's that. It is the independent territory. And if we go over here, yeah, Calf is indeed... Oh, that's what I could have done. I could have clicked on Mohandero to confirm it. So I got the city of Mohandero which, and this territory that was attached to it, which I guess I could have not taken it, interestingly enough. Um, maybe it was forced, I don't know. And then an extra territory over here. Mohandero... We're probably going to attach right away, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to attach Min. Well, first, let's check the stability. All right, it's not fantastic, but it's not death levels or anything like that. So I'm going to attach over here because we know this is going to give us access to iron afterwards. So that sounds pretty good. I guess I can just... Uh... Yeah, if I have the city open, there we go. That's where that convenient button is. Is there anything else I want to save up all the stars? Well, I don't have the means to... Well, I don't have the... The capacity for another city, although we probably will just go over. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. That's going to be fine. Um, we are now at peace. I mean, we don't have a non-aggression pack. This whole thing started because they didn't accept the non-aggression pack. So if I can go and boop these guys a bit more... Let's go that way instead of this way now. Yeah. I want to move a little for vision. I should have kept going. Oh, is that really going to be next turn? Okay, let me send you there. You are going to come back over here because this, this shit becoming unacceptable, because they could keep pushing forward. So, we'll do that. Now, now. Bizarre. Alright. What? Go! What? I'm confused as to what it was doing with the movement. I think I shouldn't have just clicked like that, because I guess it's this one. I'm confused. I should have just come around this way in the first place, maybe? Oh, well. Um... So you're fine. If we build the stupas, we... Oh, yeah, we'll lose stability. Um, oh, clear ruins. So there are ruins on the map. I don't think they get highlighted. I think it's damage that gets happened along the way. Right here. This is this old outpost over here. Now, I don't know what you get from clearing the ruins. 
Prince Ruins restarts the exploitation surrounding tiles. Ah, if I go and turn on the yield everywhere, actually, it, it is on everywhere. There's zero yield over there, so the ruins are actually causing issues while they're around. Um, I don't know how much that's affecting us currently. It may actually not be a priority. I think I'm going to leave the ruins for a sec. What I'm going to do is get a pebble fountain over here for the increased stability. Or we can just assume we're going to build Stonehenge over here, which is actually seems fairly reasonable. It's going to give us a crap ton of stability over here. Yeah. And the wonders do exploit everything that's underneath them. So putting it somewhere that has a lot of stuff, but also isn't adjacent to one of our central quarters, like over here, it's going to take forever before we expand the city out to take advantage of this, so that might be a good place for Stonehenge. On the other hand, there's also the vision thing, so we might want to put it strategically for that, but I think I'm going to put it down here. And I think what I'm going to do... Uh, do I want to tell every city to work on it right now? No, they're going to finish their stuff in two turns, and they can help on Stonehenge. Alright, I think I'm fairly happy with that. Debate and discussion are not the pastimes of the idle. But the actions of thinkers and movers Shouldn't who will touch every here. aspect of civilization. Okay, so our floods were handled well. Um, so philosophy gives us research quarters and another plus one city cap, which is going to be good because we can actually add a new city to our empire soon. Which is probably going to be a little northy here. Mohandaro are now Petra practitioners. Excellent. I know this guy ran down here, but I'm going to go here just for a little bit further vision. Uh, please help out with Stonehenge and Stonehenge. Just rip through it quickly. Oh, okay. We found a forest. I'm show up in like crazy green. There it is. I think we've got to identify every tile in it for it to count as being discovered. Religious tolerance. Um, if territories follow state religion, we get more influence. On the other hand, if we go here, we get more faith in our territories, and we do get grievances against other empires, which makes it a little easier for us to maybe start some war. This will move us towards homeland, which gives us more combat strength. The other way is more food. Um, I don't think I'm going to hit this button right now, because I think we're looking to make a city. Now, where are we going to make it? I think I do like the idea of making it here or here. Um, what would be safest might be to make Saddam Melek the city. Um, and then attach territory, because then the city would be quite close into our homeland. Our three cities will be near each other. The alternative is we make it one of these, and then settlement it can be attached to one of the other territories. But I think this is fine. Um, or Leold. No, I think I'm going to look for this. So the cost did go up because we have more cities. Which I did know. I needed to check to see what it was. Does it double every time? Because it was going to be 550, wasn't it? Wow, these guys have a lot of units running around, which is very annoying. What tech do we need for our unique? Is it chivalry? Mounted warfare. Okay, so we might want to consider beeline towards that. Peek down here to reveal the coast as much as possible. Speak, fool! Pollute my mind with no. your vile. I will not give you that. No way to make this work. I do not accept. So he's getting pretty cranky. He's going to get a lot of war support. I'm happy we've got our units right now. Oh, I can claim this another... This strange monument hmm. called Stonehenge. Most impressive, though the nagging questions remain of why. No, I really want another city, especially since my city cap's going to raise by one in a second. If we miss out on wonders, it sort of sucks because we're going to lose out on the 100 fame and some of the stability that it brings. But I really think I want the city to kick in. Or, hold on. I could just conquer this. You know what? Let's do that. So these have to be built on the coast. Our naval units get better. Militia are not lost over time during sieges. That is quite good for defenses. Or plus 1% science per district on city or outpost. Wait, so we just get percentage bonus to science for every district, not science district. Now this seems pretty strong. I'm going to claim you. And yeah, the plan is going to be conquer this. We actually have to move our other army up here. 
Um, before I go and do the mausoleum, let's get our stupas down. Oh, that's going to replace the garrison. Sometimes it feels like the best tile is something that's already got stuff on it. Actually, hold on a sec. Let me quickly do the clear ruins. I don't know why it doesn't highlight the ruins. That's that's one of the annoying... The very few annoying things that i found thus far. Um, is that really where we want to build it? Because again, with adjacencies and stuff... because of this, and I can still build the research labs over there, which wouldn't be terrible, maybe. Hmm. No good farmer's quarters. Let's look at maker's quarters over here. Actually, I'm surprised they're not being highlighted. I guess it's because it's much better over here. But I kind of feel like maybe it should highlight one per every district. Said it's such a good maker's district. Although these are also good too. You know what? We don't really lose anything by putting a stupa here. Okay, that's fine. Um, and yeah, again, I do like to build them, you know, fairly early so I don't lose them before the era. Theoretically, they're good builders as well. Um, slaves. So we actually are, I think, going to do some ransacking here. But do I just want to save my influence? I don't really need it for a city right now. Okay, let's wait. We're not about to ransack something, so I'll wait. I don't think I'm going to be able to any common quarters anytime soon. Because I don't think we have the tech for it, but... So yeah, I think the plan is we are going to move over here and try to deal with these guys. Unless I just start paying them off. Oh shit, I'm actually quite close. Well, someone else is too. Because I could just annex them. Seven per turn... I assume there's a cost. It's actually not too expensive. Already patronized. Oh, cannot be done. Oh shit, cannot be done at all. I knew I couldn't do it now because it wasn't high enough level, but... Alright. So, we'll move our, our military up over here. You as well. No, I didn't want to select you. Ah! I clicked on them accidentally, so I lost my selection over here. Yeah, just make your way forward. Um, I still want to add the stupid location. There's quarters over there. I think I'm just going to build it up over here. We can snow up. We build a bunch of things in the snow hills. Although, those are good maker's quarters. That was a good farm, wasn't it? Uh, you know what? Down here, it's crap food, no production, and we can just build some extra research, er, yeah, research quarters, which just counts as a research district, right? That was one of the things? Yeah. Okay, that seems fine. Only game in town, what do you have? Annual festival, foot race, awesome, short race popular among worshippers, uh, giving you an idea, during the time of peace, there's an ancient empire, armies will lose the edge, single race could expand into a series of games, oh, like the Olympics. Um, strength, plus seven combat strength for ten turns is huge, I don't know if it's going to be relevant. Or the science. Okay, no, we're gonna have to go mine. It's an extra 30 science per turn, so it's gonna give us 50% more science than we're making right now, which is great. Debate and discussion are not the pastime. And we can get a bunch more science with. But the actions of thinkers and movers now, who will is our touch districts, every they're occasionally gonna lose some population back and forth until they get attached to a city, and then things will balance a lot better. Uh, we can grab some very cheap things over here. Like stoneworks is actually do some great stuff for our production. We have a lot of mountainous territory. With five research quarters dedicated to science, so we don't have any. We don't actually have any real research quarters, and yet we have five. Pens and paper. Masonry, go. Oh, shit, hold on. I should not have auto-moved you. Stop! Where's the other one? Maybe I should just keep moving one at a time per turn. Uh, I guess I can just hit this. Well, you still have a long way to go. So, move to at least here on your own. It'll have to be okay. Alright, so I can slap down some actual research quarters. Um, Astit is specifically our goal star. 
but I would not mind. We have a bunch of tech from the previous era still to research. You don't, I feel like you don't want to go overboard on research quarters because it can, um, you can actually run out of things to research. Although our food is kind of garbage over here. Unless I just want to get the stoneworks first, just because it's a lot of production. But I kind of want to boost our food production. Just to make sure the growth continues here. Um, I can get some more cheap techs. Oh, uh, let's do this so that we can hook up our iron. Now, we still have only met one person. I'll let it finish its move. It's going to be a little annoying. Can I get it from the high ground? No. Okay. Uh, then maybe from here, because it should at least give us a better angle to get up onto the high ground. We'll do a manual battle here. Okay. Deploy this way. And yeah, everyone else can stay where they are. Now. We have range 3 with these units. Move here. I will adjacent to both and keep them pinned in. But they will hit me fairly hard. I don't think they'll be able to kill this guy. Do I just leave them down below? Do I leave all my units where they are? Actually, might. Like, there's a few things we could do. Um, there's high ground here, so actually, if I do this and this... There we go. It'll get rid of the high ground penalty, at least. Let's get up! No fear! Follow me. From here... Well, only one of them can attack me from the high ground here. Same thing here, but, like... If they're gonna run around. You know what? No, I'm fine with this. And you guys have already fired. Yes. Just because they've got the move and fire, but I always have to double check to make sure I don't bring it to actually shoot. Oh, this one's actually ranged. Charge! Charge! There you go. Done and done. Okay. Maybe I, it would have possible to do it with even less damage, but I'm not sure. Ooh, science osmosis. Um, I could spend gold to do fishing, but I think it's only one turn. I'll just hit the boost research thing over here. It's going to boost our current research, which is going to be fine. So we're getting that because of our neighbors and things. Um, I am going to get the pottery workshop immediately because it's really fast. And we do get more stuff from the influence stars. So we're going to do that. We actually do have a lot of influence stars. We're going to see what we can do with that in a second. Um, the mausoleum soon, maybe... I definitely want the Lumberyard and Stoneworks before I start putting down districts. And then we do have good ways to get extra tech as well here. Hmm. As per usual, we kind of want everything. I think it'll be a good investment. Oh, you, you really don't have a lot of food right now. Hang on. No, thieves. You don't have a lot of food right now for growth. Let's make sure the growth is continuing. So, we'll slap down a farm over here. Hmm. Stability is getting kind of low there, but uh, hopefully not be too bad. Okay, let's scrooge up. I'm happy they never took this. They never actually tore it down. They, um, they ransacked it for a bit, but they never actually tore it down. Okay, you got your pottery workshop. How's your food? Your food's actually okay. Oh, I need to put you to public control. There you go. Now you're going to grow very quickly. Which is what we want to see. Your stability is currently okay. Um, let's get a stoneworks, and then after that, we might build some nature's quarters there. Last of their line. Uh, many servants of the city's palace have been castrated to command a local ruler. Ah, these eunuchs, yeah. I think we're going to go punish here for the uh, industry boost. We can live without, like, we can live with the stability penalty for a little bit. We're going to go punish. That's going to center things up a little bit more might be good for stability as well, so we're okay there. Um, okay, I know I want to take this city, but why don't I just go ahead and make a city now? Or, by now, I mean next turn. With five farmer's quarters, this one city must have more farms than Builder, nice. And the city Copernicus. And we're going to want to add some terrain, some territory to our empire here pretty soon. In fact, why don't I go right now and do that. Since I'm waiting for some extra army anyway, which I might not need. I might be able to take the city as is. I'm not sure. Okay, farmer's quarters done. Um, you have decent food. Um, do I want to move these guys? 
Well, I think we'll drop you into the farmers, and then... I mean, we're not making a ton of money per turn, but yeah, let's get our science crackling. Please. Um, let's get a stoneworks. And then, I think I'll do a public fountain as well before we build the district. This rocky or anything? Rocky fields, yeah, I think our stoneworks here is going to give us tons of production really fast. So let's do that. Myths and monsters? Oasis of learning. What can we get? Learning on cities for more tech. Not much. Only five extra per city. Or 25% more faith. Um, where are we access-wise? I'm going to take Mythologize over here to center up the axis for a little bit more stability. We can use that in some of our places right now. Let me uh, grab fishing here. Just because it's going to be really fast. Maybe lead us to some more stars in that direction. We'll see where we feel like. Um, we can get the Militarist star. Oh, also, you can be upgraded... Oh, we need the iron hooked up. We have the iron tech. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Not Memphis. Mondaro. Iron mine. Boom. Excellent. Um, I mean, it's only going to shave one turn off. And we need the money for the upgrades, although not much money. Hey, what? Let's do it now, because I want to upgrade this guy now. Yeah, 45 is cheap to get him to a swordsman's. And if we want to go and attack the city... Keep moving. Forward! Stronger overhaul. We could just do some siege stuff. In three turns, we'd get a siege engine, which would give us more... You know, I'll start the siege. Because we do still have the other army coming, and maybe we want to wait for that. Okay, iron mine is set up. That's great. You've got harbors, research quarters. Um, food is actually stupendous. So let's actually see about getting a couple of makers' quarters, maybe down to get the production started. Okay, you got your farm. I mean, your food's not stupid high, but it's pretty good. Maybe what I'll do is I'll move that. That actually... Yeah, 18 to 26. Okay. Um, animal barn. More military units. I don't know. Research quarters? Maybe research quarters. That's not a tremendous amount of science over there. I mean, they will st start to stack with each other. And then we can start building buildings that boost to things. But, like, four each. Hmm. So, I mean, it's going to be about... Well, it's going to add about 3% science each. At, since they're giving us four right now. Add a cost of stability, which is actually really low over here. Hold on. We might be required to start slapping on some garrisons, or because we're stability limited, I'll work on infrastructure right now. Although I can build the artisans' quarters, so maybe I'll go ahead and get them down now, just to finish this up. Some extra silk, which actually does give us stability bonuses, so that's quite good. Um, let's oh, let's go hydrology because this will let us upgrade our public fountains to aqueducts for a bunch more stability in our cities, which I think is going to be very useful. Um, you Doris over here okay I'm gonna attach this place it's got a lot of uh, population right now I'm gonna get you and big and immediately so I mean we've got a two to one advantage in terms of pure strength but the walls which I assume they've yeah they do have some walls can tilt things a little bit so I think I still where's my second army right over here wow you are a long way away still Multi-selection turn selected. Click both of these. Upgrade them before we leave the borders. I mean, we're still working on a siege engine, so at least there's that. What is this? Oh! Oh! Hmm! That gives us a lot more science and research quarters and makes them be much, much, much more worthwhile. Cheaper things. War support. Money on those. Stability and garrisons. A lot of food on harbors. No, bear not false witness. It does make the uh, research quarters actually nuts. So now they're going to be a lot more worthwhile to build. Um, I don't think we've... No one's claimed this territory over here. Uh, That's a total of 29, 27. A little bit more food, though. 
you know what? I think we'll claim that spot, and it's kind of on the way. Technology research, good. Oh. Might have to abandon the siege and go after these guys. It's gonna be siege engine one turn. I don't know if the barbarians can reinforce. Oh, actually, right now the combat sides, yeah, they're evenly matched. Let me abandon the siege. And unfortunately, they ate all our movement because I wanted to go after these guys. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, what's going on here? Oh, does it turn out I can't walk up there? And that might be what's happening there. We can build another one of our religious buildings. Let's do a quick little pass through our cities here. I mean, none of them have a tremendous amount. We've got so many outposts still. I think if we're going to build either the Wonder or the Temple, it's going to be in Thebes itself. So let's build the Mausoleum. And we're just going to put it far off over here. Again, maybe, maybe it's bad, but as far as I can tell, it seems pretty great because you just get more forward vision, which seems pretty good. Um, Rhetoric Conquest. Oh, Mounted Warfare will give us our new unit, so let's absolutely go with that. Actually, I should have checked on that and seen about beelining. No. Oh. Negative. Okay. Um, can I... Oh, well, my army still counts as being retreating currently. Alright, well then... They wait here. I don't know. Maybe if I pull back here, if they attack, they'll force more of them to be on the river. This guy only have two movement. Man, that is slow. That downside to getting these uh, swordmen. Definitely slow down our pace. Hmm. Um. Help out with the mausoleum, please. Also help out with the mausoleum, and we'll take the science osmosis. Okay, we nearly turn off our tech. That was our outposts that are starving. Uh, no, this is actually a city over here. Oh shit! Um, it's because you actually don't have enough farmable places. Okay, finish your stoneworks. I'm gonna accelerate that. get a farm going. You've got so much population. Yeah, and, and I mean, we'd be able to put lots of people in the farm jobs, but there's not enough. Do the quarters first, and then probably we'll go and get the granary, which adds another farm slot, and more efficiency as well. We'll put that in a queue. Yeah, no. Because it's going to come with the siege. We don't get, like, war score against, or war support against these guys, so doesn't matter, but normally that would be quite poor. That could be a free unit. Yeah, next are swordmen. Alright. What I might do here... Let's split these guys out. Go this way. That way we can optimize for various movement rates. Front a little faster and take that city. I mean, it's not like I have the, the city cap anyway. Uh, in fact, what I should maybe be doing for our cities that have great stability, like our capital is pretty stable, I should maybe attach Zybel to Memphis. I think this seems like a good idea. Um, Mohandara, how you doing? You're actually pretty good. Um, we will attach... Oh, okay. Wow, that is very expensive. Um, but we'll work on doing some attachments there soon. Move forward as quickly as possible. And then you're just going to plod forward. Maybe I'll leave the swordman just in case these guys start up with something. Maybe I'm just going to leave you in the city over here. It's a safety thing. Luckily, because we've got so much of a buffer between us and our neighbor, we kind of will see them coming. Oh, we can find an outpost in here, which I should definitely do. Twenty-five over here. Maybe I'll do that. I think that's well worthwhile. So I guess we're just gonna chill over here until we get our reinforcements. Unless these guys move out of the city, in which case we'll jump on them. No 
Okay, mounted re warfare researched, which... Boom, boom, boom. Okay, those are quite expensive. Can't even do one. But... Wait, what? As I say, surely. I can tap these guys here. Go this Move way. to there. And I think everything else is probably okay. Families. Plunk there. I'm gonna park this guy here. So everyone is shot, yeah? Yep. Again. Let me check. Yep. They are gonna do a lot of damage, because these ranged units really suck against um, when they get attacked in melee. No fear. Come that's gonna finish you off, and that's gonna finish you off. Huge success! And Military Star, thank you very much. Um, so Builder Stars are going to come fairly easily right now, I think, which is going to be good. We are going to get an Estite Star pretty quickly. We're actually going to be able to get a second Tech one as well. I think we're going to burn through this era pretty quickly. And I'm not complaining about that. Go this way. Um, we need more cash. But for now, yeah, I'm just head up in this direction. And tech-wise, so conquest, attach up with cost. And you know what? That's actually kind of relevant. Because I would like to attach some outposts, and they're getting pretty expensive. Steep Star is a go. Yeah, we're going to burn through this era. We might stay in it a little bit more to, if we're close to a few more stars. But yeah, mostly sit around here and be ready to defend. Um, we'll upgrade you. And then, yeah, we can actually, because these guys um, have full strength from fighting in melee, we, we don't even need meleeers anymore. We probably will end up with a swordman-specific army um, that moves slowly, and then our fast group of the war elephants. Population loss. Come over here you'll actually be part of the reinforcements for this battle. And that is so one-sided, I'm just going to instant it. It's like, please don't lose me a unit, that would be annoying. And I'm just going to put you to sleep over here. And we've got an event, what is this? Priests of Nature. Large number of farming districts led to a blossoming of knowledge of plants for health. We can get Ferocious for plus one combat strength, eh. Or Bountiful, which is a bunch more food. Let's do that. Also moves us towards progress, which is generally where I want to be, with the caveat that balance for stability is kind of nice right now. Now, since we've boofed some of their units, I'm thinking of An impressive siege, mausoleum. Mausoleum's but I cannot up. help wonder what sort of a sign it is when an empire spends more on the dead than the living. Well, that's a good point, Mr. Narrator. Don't fall behind. Let me move you here. Let's go. Come over here. here. And even when you're out of movement, you can initiate combat with adjacent tiles. I think I'm going to immediately assault before they reinforce. Oh, they've got reinforcements. No, let me maintain. Well, not in enemy territory. Can I separate someone out of this? No, they're definitely locked in. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna start the Great Temple. I'm gonna push it out over here for faith in this area. A little vision uh, and uh, stability in one of our newer cities that probably needs a fair amount of extra stability. Um, I'll just put it over here. Kind of an unimpressive tile. Let's just speed that along as much as we can. Thank you very much. Okay, we are definitely going to finish this era soon, so let's get the last of these stupas down, please. And they do count as a research district, so they do get the plus five science from our policy, which is really nice. Um, Artisan Quarters, let's finish the last of you Ooh, down here. Oh, we, we weren't able to get these before. It's because we got one of the boating techs. Okay, attach outpost cost goes down. Science Star is going. 
Um, we can build one more district for a bunch more fame. Right there. Uh, we're not on the edge of getting anything else right now. What I'm wondering... Are we currently building a district? You're actually not building anything right now. Um, oh, we don't have enough money to rush by anything. Dang. Okay, that's too bad. How's this harbor looking? Okay, not a god tier harbor location. Otherwise it would be highlighted, but it's not a lot of food. It would let us build some boats for exploration. Uh, we're about to unlock a new era, so we really do want our tech rate to go up here. So, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, oh, another tenet for our religion. Hello. Develop the intellect is science per alliance, which we don't have running right now. Movement speed's pretty amazing. More influence if we spam out common quarters. Trade routes. We don't have any of that going on right now. Some free industry. We actually, you know what? I think Honorkin's the way to go. I think we're going to appreciate the plus one movement speed. I mean, that is 50% more movement speed than our swordmen. So that's kind of amazing. Um, siege tactics will give us the better ballistas and also let us build our armies bigger. So we're going to go with that, grab that one. New era. I'm going to wait one turn. Um, four turns in Thebes. That's not a district. Is that one stoop as a district? I don't suppose I can buy you. No. So we might stay in this era for two turns. Just to get the extra fame here. Oh! We got the Builder Star. How do we get that? I don't know. Um, agrarian is... How close are we to getting the next Military Star? If we kill six units... Oh shoot, I gotta put a cut in here. I'm What I'm considering... Because it looks like there's seven units in here. If we win this, we'll get a star for the battle stuff. Or, a, well, the star and the fame for the battle stuff. So I think that might be the plan. But... We're 36 minutes into the video. I'm going to go ahead and put it in a cut. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.